This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 1950, Why You Shouldn't Pay Off Your Mortgage Early, by Jen Hayes of jenhayes.me. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. Now let's get right to it and continue optimizing your life. Why You Shouldn't Pay Off Your Mortgage Early, by Jen Hayes of jenhayes.me. If you aren't familiar with Dave Ramsey, you probably haven't heard of his seven baby steps. Dave's seven-step financial plan has helped millions of Americans to break free of debt and achieve financial freedom. The seven baby steps are, number one, save a $1,000 emergency fund. Number two, pay off all non-mortgage debt ASAP. Number three, save three to six months of expenses. Number four, invest 15% of income for retirement. Number five, college funding for children. Number six, pay off mortgage. And number seven, build wealth and give. As you can see, baby step number six is paying off the mortgage. Dave takes a very rigid one-size-fits-all approach, but I personally believe that every situation is different. Paying off a mortgage early has clear benefits. Let's say your mortgage is $1,600 a month. Imagine what you could do with that money if you freed up $1,600 a month. There's no denying that paying off the house early has benefits. But is paying off a mortgage super early always the best option? There are a few situations where I think it doesn't make sense to pay off your mortgage as soon as possible. You're way behind on saving for retirement, you're tired of being so frugal, or you're renting out a room. Side note, to be clear, I do not recommend paying off a mortgage over 30 plus years. I generally advise people to take out a 15-year mortgage. For the purposes of this post, paying it off early refers to paying off a mortgage in much less than 15 years. For example, over five years. We're all different and we all have unique values, situations, and preferences. Let's look at a specific example. Susie is 30 years old. She has always made smart financial choices and has never had any debt aside from her mortgage. She's been contributing 15% of her income to her 401k, which has a generous employer match since she was 22. Susie recently purchased a small $120,000 home. Susie plans to pay off her mortgage over five years. In order to do this, she has to be somewhat frugal, but she still has money left over for traveling and other fun activities. Does it make sense for Susie to pay off her mortgage as fast as she possibly can? Yes. She's doing great on retirement savings. Her mortgage payment is low, and she has plenty of cash available to make extra payments towards her mortgage and enjoy her life for the next five years. Let's look at someone in a very different situation. Abby is also 30 years old. Abby spends her 20s aggressively paying off $200,000 of student loan debt from law school. Abby postponed investing and currently has $0 saved for retirement. Her employer does not offer a 401k match. Abby and her husband recently purchased a $200,000 home. They're considering paying off their mortgage early but they think their money might be better spent elsewhere. They're concerned about how far behind they're on saving for retirement, and they're both feeling burnt out with frugality. They worked multiple jobs and lived extremely frugally while paying off massive student loan debt. So they're looking forward to traveling, relaxing, and enjoying life more. Does it make sense for Abby and her husband to pay off their mortgage as fast as possible? Maybe, maybe not. If their income is high enough that they can pay off the mortgage early and aggressively save for retirement and travel and enjoy life, then paying off the mortgage early probably does make sense. On the other hand, let's say that they decide to pay their mortgage off over seven years and their income is too low to do that and have money left over for other things. In that case, they'll spend the next seven years working their asses off when they've already spent several years making sacrifices to get out of debt. They might decide that it simply isn't worth it, and they'd rather pay off their mortgage over 15 years. There's nothing wrong with that. 
You're renting out a room. In Abby's case, the issue is that she was tired of being so frugal and she was behind on saving for retirement. Let's examine an entirely different scenario. What if you're renting out a room of your house? Let's say you're paying $1,000 a month for your mortgage on a $100,000 condo and you charge your roommate $700 a month for rent. This means that you'll only pay $300 a month towards your mortgage. Over 15 years, this would be $54,000 total. Paying $54,000 is a much better deal than paying $100,000 plus interest. In this scenario, it makes sense not to pay off your mortgage early. Instead of focusing all your money on attacking the mortgage, you could put it towards other priorities instead, like investing, saving for a new car, or traveling. One last thought. Dave Ramsey's recommendation is to do whatever you can to pay off your mortgage as quickly as possible. Google paying off a mortgage early and you'll find hundreds of articles about people who have paid off their mortgages in unbelievably short timeframes. But is it worth it to pay off your $200,000 mortgage in five years if you're behind on retirement saving and you're tired of being frugal? Maybe not. It might also not make sense to pay off your mortgage early if you're renting out a room. Everyone has their own unique situation. To be clear, it doesn't necessarily need to be one or the other, paying off your mortgage crazy fast or paying it off over 15 years. You could, for example, pay off your mortgage over 10 or 12 years instead of five or 15. There are plenty of options. Do whatever works best for you and your unique situation. You just listened to the post titled, Why You Shouldn't Pay Off Your Mortgage Early by Jen Hayes of jenhayes.me. Ah, the age old question, should I invest or pay off my mortgage? This continues to be an ongoing debate because the answer is going to be unique to your preferences and circumstances. If the interest rate on your mortgage is less than 5%, you'll likely make a higher return on interest from investments than the money you would save in interest by aggressively paying off your mortgage. However, many people feel peace of mind by owning their house outright, especially if it's the home they plan to be in when they retire. I personally have chosen not to pay off my mortgage early for a number of reasons. Firstly, I don't look at my primary residence as an investment, and I don't want my money held up in a tangible asset. I prefer the liquidity of stocks. The argument for peace of mind and being mortgage-free doesn't appeal to me because my mortgage is $600 per month. So this is an expense that's easily met, especially because I don't have a car payment or any other debt. If you have a high monthly mortgage, I can see the peace of mind of not having a mortgage being more attractive. I also don't know how long I'll live in this house, but I do plan to keep it and rent it out after I move on. So why not let the tenants pay the mortgage? I like the advice from my friend Frank Vasquez over at Risk Parity Radio who recommends to have no more than 10 to 20% of your net worth in your residence so that you can put the bulk of your money into income-producing assets. This debate also makes me think of an OFD listener who reached out to me asking if I thought she had enough money to retire early. While she had over a million dollars, a large majority of that was in her house, so she couldn't really live off of that in retirement unless she sold the house. And that should do it for today. Have a happy rest of your day. And I'll see you on the Thursday show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.